we are very close to Barwa Junction. God, at this at this section, I can't even see anything. I can't even see anything here that I, I recognize. So had it been, they were actually going to, you know, have the road at both sides. There will be a lot of demolition. So this particular out of diversion have saved a lot of these buildings you are seeing here. Hi guys, we'll be exploring the construction update on the Lagos Calaba Coastal Highway. We'll be looking at the newly paved section on the VI section and also the diversion between the landmark beach and Marwa Junction. We have two different lanes running at, at two different directions from landmark down to Marwa. We'll be looking at both lanes to see what they've achieved at both sides. It's going to be a long one, but I promise you every scene in this video will watch your time. Hi guys, my name is OZ and I'm currently at the construction site of the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Collectively, we'll see how much progress they've made on this project. Trust me, to watch every bit of your time. See, I'm sweating. I've gone through everything. I was super impressed with what I saw. And I believe you too will be when you see it. So come with guys, let's do this together. This is the first completed section of the project with street light and all. And this is the newly paved section of the project I'll be walking you through you will be seeing what they've achieved. As you can see, there's no painting. From here down to landmark is newly paved with street lights. I'll be walking you through so we'll all see how much progress they made on this section. Guys, last time we were here, if you've been following through, they were actually fixing these street lights. And right now, and even this particular section, this particular section was still work in progress. But from Amado Bell away, Heading towards landmark, we're heading towards a uh, landmark now. As you can see, the street light is fixed, but I don't think from what I'm seeing now, the pool is not yet uh, wired, like the connections are not yet uh, there. But the poles and the the bulbs are fixed, the road is, is completely paved at both sections of the road. This is the first lane, why this is the second lane, everything is paved and complete and also eco atlantic uh, is also working from their own end facing off their portion so we have the coastal road separately we have the eco atlantic uh, doing their stuff so we are approaching landmark we are currently at oniru beach so we are approaching landmark guys I am so impressed with what I've seen here. I was here just one month ago. Coming back, I am seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of changes, both on construction, cleanliness, and all that. Yeah, it's for the first time here. Eh? I will see. God bless all those charge of this particular project this is very beautiful I don't think my view will do justice to what I'm seeing here what I'm seeing believe me you this is this is massive what I'm seeing here I think uh, construction company has done a very impressive job here. Guys, I can't imagine myself riding on this road. It will take my first trip to Calabar on this road. Look at the construction is so solid. So 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 solid. And all the drainage system here is fully done and, and it is complete at this section. So we are currently at Oniru Beach. So 
near you with the Onuru Beach. We are approaching Landmark Beach. Guys, it's been a long like the fact that they've accomplished this thing within six months, it's so impressive. This is not the first kilometer that was first completed. These are the first one that I showed you in my previous uh, video on this project. You know, last time I came here, they were still paving the section of the road. This part is paved while we were working on this particular side. Right now, everything is done, and uh, the street light is also done. And the construction, that, that's the paving, is turned down to, I, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm approaching Landmark Beach. So we are, we, are, we are walking down to see where they are currently working on. So I am at Landmark Beach, as you can see. This used to be the Landmark Beach. And uh, up there, my goodness, Eco Atlantic City is not taking it easy at all. There's a lot of work going on there. A lot, a lot like, as you can see, look at those tippers. Bringing the sound, going out, feet sounds feeling and doing a lot of things, all, all sort of things at, at the Eco section of the, of the project. I can't wait to, you know, take you a tour on what's going on in that section. We're still working on that. Once I have the green light, I will go there and get an information on what's going on there. But for now, let's concentrate on Igos Calabar Costa Road construction. Guys, guys, I'm just wondering where are they now? Where are they? Because last time I was here, they were still at this section, like they were still here. Not that just one, one, one month ago, no more than 40 days, they were still at this section. Just a few steps from where I, I am right, right now at, at the landmark, this was where. We are actually paving, and there were no street lights in this section. But right now, I am seeing the street lights. I think it's terminating at landmark, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm seeing the last pole. Let's get closer and see where the paving has gotten to. But guys, I love the fact that they don't, they don't, they don't just pave the road; they also maintain. Like it's so neat. So so neat. So this was landmark beach house, and who could believe that here used to be a very big ocean, a beach where people come to have fun. Now a place where we'll be taking a trip to a different part of Nigeria. So we are touring the. Lagos Calabar Coastal Road VI section to see the recent progress achieved on the project. And uh, as, I've been, as I've said before, I am at Landmark and heading towards Marwa Junction to see where I've gotten to so far. Last time I was here, this thing you're seeing here, these things are actually gutters, underground gutters, underground. So, what I'm seeing here, they will still some few these ones and to be a walkway, a potential walkway. Under, underneath is the goat house, as you can see. This uh, where the, the manhole where they can, where, where they can uh, do the maintenance of the goat house. But this is the, the walkway, potential walkway. And uh, the road is taking shape. It's taking shape. At this section now, they will have to some fill this this thing and put the bricks on top. And uh, instead of working on, on the main road, we'll be working on this particular section. The only thing about this particular project is the fact that it will open every 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 every, every, every part of, of Nigeria that it, 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 it come across. Now at this VI section, the fact that this place used to be inside, like inside streets, should I say inside. Now having this road running through 
this section has open properties and open investments at this corridor. For example, now from Marwa Junction, just from meters away, you get the uh, Lake Yekbe Express. You know, having a property or having a business at the front, at front, at the front of uh, Lake Yekbe Express, you know what it means. You know how valuable it's. You know how much value it gives to to business. So now this is an, another version of Lagos. Uh, uh, sorry, this is another version of uh, Lake Yekbe Express being being or uh, trust it that, that has been created. So to open more uh, value or, or to give this place more value. So now, if you are in Lekki, Lake Yekbe Express gives value to that section. Calabar, Lagos Calabar Coastal Road will also give value to this section as well. So it is so, 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 so impressive. Okay, I think I'm seeing me at work. Um, we are trying, I'm, I'm leaving Landmark Beach and uh, as you can see, that's the, the, twin, the twin tower. And I'm seeing people, I'm, I'm seeing construction going on there. Let, let, let's get closer. What I'm seeing is it for the uh, Eco Atlantic Sea or is it Lagos Calabar Coastal Road? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm seeing deeper. Maybe they're not at work today. I don't know. At this section. So, we're still at Landmark, uh, Landmark Beach. These were all the facilities here at Landmark before now. This, this, this place is so dusty. So, so, uh, forgive me if I can't uh, speak up properly. No, I'm working and uh, dust is too much. Guys, right, so this is uh, the Eco Atlantic section. My goodness. Guys, this place used to be a very big ocean. A very big ocean. And they've sand filled everything. Like, if you don't know, and I, I, I'm, I'm bringing you up, you, you come here for the first time, and you're told that, yeah, here I'm standing right now, it used to be a river. I saw it myself. You wouldn't believe it. Like, they, they filled this place up. Like, the sand filling here was, was, was massive. This is what they've achieved so far. So, just after landmark, I don't know if you know this church. I don't, I've forgotten the, 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 the name of this church, but it's a very popular church here at IMVI. So, this is where they've gotten to with the construction. I don't know if you know this church. It's a very popular church. I'm not seeing the sign post again, but I, I used to know, know the name of the church, but. Right now, it's not coming to mind. So, right at the back of the church, that's where they've gotten to with the construction and the street lights. So, and the, the construction continues from here. You can see? Oh, man, here it's dusty, it's too dusty. Hmm. It's so, so dusty here. Yeah. It's so dusty, so, so dusty. So guys, this is where we've come through, and this is how much they've achieved on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road as of November 2024. My goodness! Whoa! So the currently constructing the pedestrian bridge. I said pedestrian bridge, pedestrian walkway, pedestrian walkway. 
why they are they are they are done with the underground drainage system so at the top we have the pedestrian bridge under construction and right in front of me i'm seeing construction going on there like they are actually working on this at the front there one thing about this project is the fact that some people are working like they are not just in one, in, in one spot this is the first sorry this is the first uh, phase of the project it terminated at lucky free trade zone so they're actually working in different section of this project so from here down to eleko work is currently going on at the project in different uh, section and different and a different stage so in the in future updates i will take you on the tour on jacunde section take you on the tour on the eleko section as well for us to see what they've achieved at that section so we are currently at the vi section and um i am very close to the twin tower here in vi and if you are seeing what i'm seeing i'm seeing uh, men at work working on these pillars for the pedestrian bridge sorry if you can't hear me it's, it's noisy here and it's dusty as well i just uh, came to take in the tour just like it walked it, it, it walked through for, for us to see what's going on on the lagos calabar coastal road as, as of november right here this is where the diversion of the road started from from here straight to marawa junction is the first lane on the other side which i will take you in a minute is another diversion of the second lane where they will also divert back after marwa junction so let's take a tour on the second lane of of this project to see how much progress they've made on the lagos calabar coast highway before now i've taken you on a tour on this road right from here down to marwa junction and we've all seen the progress achieved there if, if you've not seen it i will link it below this video so now let's take a tour on the second lane to see the progress made so far on that section This is the procedure for constructing what we've seen so far. What goes down? I think I will stop at this twin tower to be continued next time. Because, as you all know, if you've been following through on this project, what you're seeing now here is what they've achieved throughout down to Marwa Junction. And they're also working from Jack on D. That's a Aja section coming towards the Marwa Junction at, at Lekki. So some are walking from this section heading towards that section while some are walking from Jakondi coming towards Marwa Junction. So they, they both meet at Marwa Junction. So if we decide to walk down to Marwa Junction, what I'm seeing here, what, what, like what they've achieved there is what you will see at the other section as well. So if I'm to do that, maybe next time I will gladly do that for you. But for now, we'll stop here. We'll stop here. Uh, we'll stop here. But let me take it down a bit. So, guys, I want you to tell me what do you think about this project? Uh, like you all know, the hype, we had a lot of people saying this project will be abandoned. A lot of people saying that they won't, they won't achieve this project. A lot of things are, have been said on, the, on this project. Some, 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 some have said that this, this project will actually stop at Lagos here. Yeah? It's just for the Dangotes and other establishments. Why have a lot of things been said on this project? Against all odds, this project is making huge progress. As I'm talking to you right now, They've actually started work at Ogun State, heading towards Ondo State. Yes, it's is that true? Is that true? Believe me, you. They are currently working at uh, Ogun State, heading towards uh, Ondo State. Which, in the future updates, I will take you there, so we we'll both see what they've accomplished. It can be this month or next month, but for you to see that. For you to see that, ensure you hit that subscribe button now. So when I drop the, uh, the updates, you'll be the first to be notified that, yes, 
we have the update and you can watch what they've achieved there all right all right so for now let me just walk down a bit for context we're still walking on the first lane this is in between the, the twin tower after here we'll have the second lane at the other end the boat meets at, at marawa junction after marawa Mara junction so now i'll be taking you on the, on the second lane down to where it connects back to the first lane after marawa junction so please call me and patient while we go through that phase We are back from where the road pavement ended, if you remember. That's the church, and this is where they've gotten to on the construction. So right here, this is where the diversion begins from. From here, we have the first lane going straight, and the other lane going after the twin tower. You know what? Let's walk through for you to see what this looks like. So at the left-hand side is the first lane, Why at the right-hand side is the second lane. The boats, um, they have their diversion going in between these twin tower so right now we're heading on the second lane and uh we'll be seeing the progress achieved on that section so it's going to be a long one but please go with me on this ride we are currently working on the second lane diversion we've walked through a bit on the first lane so this is the second lane and like i said that's the diversion of the lanes here so this is the progress if made on the second lane on Lagos Calabar Costa Highway. So guys, I, um, as you can see, I want to believe by this time next, uh, by, by this time, um, January, February next year, they should have paved this section. So you can see, uh, this is the the ocean, as the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Driving through this road, you'll be seeing the ocean. You just too close. What I'm seeing here. Uh, Obviously, they will start paving this section. They are wetting the, they are, they are wetting the floor. That's a tank, wetting the floor. And I'm seeing construction going on at front of me. I am walking closer to see what is going on there. So, let's go together. Guys, they are watching the floor. This process, it's so interesting to watch.
So we're heading to see what is it accomplished. And as you all know, this is the other lane. Why the other lane is the other section which I've shown you before. So this particular lane is very very close to the ocean as you can see. That's the ocean there. That's the ocean. Atlantic Ocean. And some section is the Echo Atlantic City. Uh, so guys, um, so you can see there are structures in between the lanes. After here, there's another lane. So this is the, the middle in, in between the, the two two lanes. Man, this project will actually give value to all these sections. Imagine at the back, you can actually assess the, the businesses that, that, that are here. Why also uh, at the front, you can also assess the project. So here used to be beach, as you can see, and they've, they've, they've all been sand filled. And this is the remaining of, of the Atlantic Ocean. And in front of me, I'm seeing men at work. And at my back, I'm seeing Greta grading the road. As you can see, they've also wet the road and are doing all the process involved to construct the road. In a previous uh, episode, we've walked through this, uh, this road from, from VIA here down to Marawa Junction in Lekki. So this is the second lane. So guys, so guys, um, no, we are actually at construction site. So guys, we've come about two to one kilometer from where we have the diversion and uh, based on what I've asked the engineers on site, I was made to understand that the diversion will connect back after Marawa Junction. So basically, everything I've shown you before in our, in our, in our last episode, that's just one lane of the road and this was just to, you know, to cushion the effect of demolition. Imagine all these structures here, if they were to, you know, Run the boat lane at the same side. All these uh, all these structures we, we, we are seeing right now, they will all be demolished. So they have to come a bit closer to the shores of the of the ocean to be able to construct this other lane. While the other lane is is, is also done, and uh, they've come. A lot, I, I would say at the other lane, they've achieved a lot compared to this one. This one is still. I still some feeling and doing a lot of all, all sort of things as, as you have seen. This is what they have accomplished at the section of the project. Wow. Guys, I'll work as much as I can. Then the future updates will do all the rest. But I still working. This is very close to the ocean. Imagine you're riding on this particular road. There's a lot, to, there's a lot to see because when you're done, at the right hand side is ocean, at the left is other businesses, you know, doing a sort of uh, recreational activities and all that. That will make a lot of sense, you know. I a lot of sense.
So guys, as you can see here, yeah, we're still on the road. And that's the, the ocean there. And we are very close to Marawa Junction right now. So we are trying to see where the diversion will meet back and uh, continue. Hey. More. We're headed towards Marawa Junction. We came all the way from Landmark. That's where the diversion uh, actually started from. From Landmark Beach, we have a diversion coming all the way to Marawa Junction. In our last episode, I have walked through from VI down to Marawa Junction, showing you what that section looked like. So this is us also looking at the, at the, at the other lane. That, that, that's the first lane. Why this is the second lane? So we are looking at what they've accomplished at this section. So this will probably be the phase two of the my guy look at that's a beach doing its thing the ocean doing doing a thing so imagine driving through this drive, driving through this this road just, 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 just a view alone it's insane it's insane bro just a view alone it's insane Oh god. I don't really I can't really say on the kilometers that this stretch, but considering what I've what, what, what I've seen, I would think I have walked about four kilometers from Landmark Beach. So um I don't know. We are still looking to see where it will connect. So I can't say for now that this is the exact uh, kilometers it stretch. From Landmark Beach down to here. Oh, guys, look at the peacefulness of, of the ocean on this section. So, actually, some feeling I'm cleaning. At the first lane, they've come, they've, they've, done, a, they've done a lot. At this section, too, uh, we'll say they've done a lot as well. Because some feel this, believe me, you, I, I, I don't know if I've seen this. That's the ocean. That is what was here before. And they've been able to achieve this within six months. Isn't that impressive? So guys, man, the sun is hot. The sun is hot. Oh I think we are very close to Barwa Junction. God, at this at this section I can't even see anything. I can't even see anything here that I, I recognize. So had it been, they were actually going to, you know, have the road at both sides. There will be a lot of demolition. So this particular out of diversion have saved a lot of these buildings you are seeing here. It have saved them a lot. And uh, I don't know if, 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 if they demolished anything here, but if they did, it wouldn't have been compared to what they would have done if they followed the road. No, I was in kind of uh, constructing simultaneously. That would be a lot of demolition. But with this, this is better and best. Just, uh, if you are, I, I, I don't know if the first lane is going, or the second lane is going, but if you are driving on, on, on this path, the view is amazing. And you'll be, and you'll be able to see vehicles coming at the other lane. That's just the basic, the, the basic difference. One road, uh, different directions. I think this will be the way I'm standing now will be the Eco Atlantic. And so you can see that pillar there, that is the road. They've already put the signs that this is where the road is. It, uh, it's going to go through. Why I'm working on this section is because of the construction going on on the road. So I have to, you know, take precautions. Well, I also walk through the road there right now, so it does give me some seconds. Guys, I am sweating so badly, eh?
So I'm I'm on the road right now. This is the the road. I was meant to understand that this top building you're seeing here, that tall building, that, that is where the road started uh, connect, connecting back to the to the first lane. So they will both they will both be on the same side at this section. So let me get close and see how through is that. I was meant to understand that I'm very close to Marama Junction, but I can't tell for sure that I am because based on what I'm seeing here. I don't recognize anything here. I don't recognize anything here at all. I don't think I, I do. I am also I'm, I'm, I'm more familiar with the other side because this section I don't know guys, I don't know. This, this, this is my first time coming to this section. So I think I'm seeing new people at the front. I'll get to ask them if we are close to Marwa Junction. But before then, let me continue walking on the road. Guys, this is amazing. So, so amazing. I want to believe, like I said before, in the next two, three months, this place would have been paved and uh, we have road. Looking set up here. This actually open up investments, open up opportunities, increase the value of this, this, this place. The thing is that, just after this place, we also see main roads like we have Lake Bay Express just some meters away which is like like two or three kilometers like two to three kilometers like two to three four kilometers away from this you have the, the Lake Bay Express you imagine properties facing the Lake Bay Express the value so having this again before now here used to be inside inside you know what it means lesser value because they are not on the main road now we're having a super highway this will give this place super value. Um, I think I, I'm beginning to agree that we are close to Marwa Junction. If we've not even passed Marwa Junction, let me. I'm seeing a security. I'm seeing a, a safety guy here. Um, let me walk closer and see if I can make inquiries. So know where we are right now. On the other side, I used to see this tall building, but I, I don't make mistakes. I don't make mistakes at all, so let me ask questions. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is so, so, so amazing, guys. So amazing. What Nigerian government have done here, this is a lot of money spent. Like a whole lot of money has gone down here already. So these were actually beach house, you know. When we when we should have beach here. But I wonder that they will find ways of, of, of survival. I want to believe there will also be beaches here. Okay, this is actually this is a Eco Atlantic. I'm seeing this is a Great Wall of Lagos. Wow. I'm gonna push water come for you. They chase water out of here. This place where you used to be. Big big water, the big ocean. Sorry, so let me ask this guy. Um, continue, guys. Who would have believed that this place used to be oceans? I don't know if I've seen that. That uh, stones, these are the stones that uh, used to block off the, the river from you know flowing to the, to the mainland. And uh, this is this this is actually done for the Eco Atlantic uh, projects. So I think this actually be a continuation of Eco Atlantic City. Yeah, they are actually sand filling and uh, doing their stuff. And at my back here, that's the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway construction which we are exploring. And this is breathtaking view. So let's continue our tour on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. <coughs> my God. So I asked and I was told that this is where the, they will start diverting the road back to the first lane so they will both be moving on both sides 
it is an entrance to, to this blue water. And opportunities here will be enormous, guys. When opportunities this place will open. So this is I'm not, I'm, not say, I'm, not, I'm not seeing the first lane. I don't, I don't know if you're seeing it from the camera. You see? So, this is what I, I was told. As you can see, eh? this is where they actually start diverting the, the road to the first lane. So, they, are, they did a demolition there. Yeah. I can't tell for sure what was there before. But, they are diverting the road back to the first lane. So, uh, so guys, diversion. We start from here. We start from here. Then, you can see they started suffering. Yeah. So these are the signs on the road. So from here it will connect to the first lane which we are walking through now we are connecting back to the first lane in a jiffy we'll see that so this is you can see this is uh, where the road will end so let's see where the road will start <laughs> we are connecting back we're diverting back to the first to the first lane so right now it's a diversion heading back to the first lane To, uh, I, don't, I, I don't know what was there before, but wherever it is, it's down. And uh, the road diversion is taking shape already. Just uh, they still leave the road because they have an access road there leading to other part of the city and other, other establishments uh, like the New House Water we saw, Tower. So, so I, I'm seeing the first lane on a construction so we are connecting back there to see how much progress they've made so this is after Marawa Junction so this is it guys this is how much they've achieved on Lagos Calabar Costa Highway here in Lagos Nigeria or more uh, it's, not, it's not easy, oh. like it's not easy at all. Ah, good. I, I don't know how you guys make me do, do these things. I, I do every time. Anyways, I want to say thank you guys. Thank you for always giving me this motivation to do this because trust me, you it's a lot of hard work, a lot of risk, a lot of strength put in to make these documentaries. You no. Know? Walking out with your phone like this, trying to, try to film, trying to record, everybody's looking at you, who are you? You're looking all suspicious. <sighs> it's a whole lot, boss. It's a whole lot. Oh, I enjoy doing it with, with you guys every time, any day. It's something I keep doing. So, as you can see, this place is wide. It's wide. And if you're seeing what I'm seeing, you see that we have T-Pass driving through on the first lane of the road and other that section we've both been there several times we've tour and see the progress on the project so right here henceforth down to uh, down to I think Jack on the, the road run on the same like both sides, they run simultaneously. So I can't tell for sure what it looked like after Jack on the. But what I saw at um, Eleko, the road also run, run on, on both sides as well. So as we we'll keep exploring these projects, we'll be uncovering the progress they are.
they've made on the, on the project so this is just our tour on the lekki sorry on the vi lekki jack on the section so in the future updates we'll also take you on on, on jack on the section to see what was going on there take you to leko take you to ogo state on those states so like i said before to see that ensure you subscribe to the channel right now i got you always don't worry if now waka we can do it yeah i i'm not complaining i'm not complaining i will take you guys anywhere anyhow no matter how rugged it is we'll go there together to film to show you what is going on so just sit relax and enjoy enjoy, enjoy my documentaries so from here as you can see the road is coming from that section it's coming from that section that's where we walk through and it's connecting back to the first lane so this is the first lane at our front here but that's the first lane on the road on the road we are done with our tour on the second lane of the lagos calabar costa road diversion so this is the first lane at Marwa junction heading towards vi i know you'll be curious to know what that section looks like this is what they've achieved i've been here before but let me show you for those who have not seen it before this is what the section look like coming from Marwa junction heading towards vi in the early day in, in, like in the early time on this video we, we've seen from vi coming towards this, this direction so this is Marwa junction heading towards vi i will taking just on a few meters uh, for us to see what they've achieved and it's a wrap Thank you for coming far with me on this video. I do appreciate your time. It's almost one hour you you you, you are giving me of your time for us to see what they've accomplished on the Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. It's a pleasure and I'm glad I, I took you on this ride. You can support the journey by buying us coffee. This help us fund our next project, help us travel around, help us to you know stay afloat. Money does a lot for us. You can buy us coffee. We also have a local bank account in the description where you can support us directly with the uh, Nigerian Nera. And you can give us an honest feedback about this video, Criti criticize us, praise us, tell us what you think about this video, which area do you want us to improve on next time we are working on something like this. And I remember your boy, you can follow us on other social media platform, on TikTok, on Instagram, on X. Just follow us through. I remember your boy, was it? This is the first time coming across my videos, coming across me. You're welcome. And it's a pleasure having you in this channel and a pleasure taking you all around, all around uh, the, the Lagos Calabar Coastal Road. And you're here. Like, I don't know if you've if actually seen this, but come on. You're the real MVP. God bless you. And it's a wrap. See you. On the other one, I have another one showing on your screen. Follow through. Let's control the top from there.